Hello, I'm Joe Neville and welcome to another BGP in depth. So for the next few videos, I'm going to be focusing on BGP best path. Coming up, BGP path attributes and route selection. Then I'm going to be focusing on local traffic steering with weight. Then moving on to local AS traffic steering with a focus on local preference. And I've got a couple of demos to illustrate these attributes for you. BGP, it's not just about reachability. So if you think about routing protocols, their basic role is to communicate destinations, aka subnets or prefixes. And BGP does do this by communicating their known prefixes in BGP update messages. But this protocol goes much further than that, and each prefix has additional information attached in the update message known as path attributes. Some must be included, such as the well-known mandatory attributes, some not. Here's a table showing the main BGP path attributes. As you can see at the top there, we've got origin, AS path, and next hop. They're the well-known mandatory, so they must be included in a BGP update. Next, we've got local preference and atomic aggregates. Up next, we've got community. Then we've got med, which is uh, also known as metric. Finally, a couple there, which are for root reflectors, which we've already dealt with, originator ID and cluster list. And these path attributes are used along with other information to create path preference. So if a BGP speaker receives two paths to a destination prefix, it can use the path attributes to decide which is the best path to take. And this is where things get a bit funky with BGP, with the BGP route selection table. So here you can see it in all its glory. This is the one for Comware. Each uh, operating system that implements a BGP stack will, somewhere buried in the configuration guide, have a list like this which shows you the order of preference for the attribute. This is how a BGP speaker decides which is the best path to take. At the top there is the most preferred going right down to point 0.13. So this is quite a complex part of the protocol and something that I think many newcomers find hard to get their head around and as I said at the beginning this is pretty hard to remember and very easy to forget. I find myself having to refer to this quite regularly to work out what's going on and why a path is preferred over another. But the great thing is that this is actually laid out for you so it's knowable information you just need to keep this in mind and keep it to hand when you're working out in complex networks what exactly is going on. In short, you've got options, and lots of them. And this is what we know about BGP, that granularity and control, so at every BGP speaker, you can implement pretty complex policy to decide not just filtering, but which path to choose. And as I'm sure you can appreciate, it can be pretty confusing where you have to memorize or when you're trying to work out whether uh, its local preference is higher or its metric is lower, that's the preferred value. So let's move on and focus on the most preferred factor. So this is step one in those root selection lists. We are talking about weight. And I should say that this is not actually a path attribute. So this is not including in BGP updates because it's only locally significant. It only affects the local device and is not advertised to any of the peers. And if we apply the mantra of thinking like a router to work out what's going on here, I always think of it as a case of the router asking itself, do I go left or right? So imagine it's got a left interface or a right interface on a diagram. Which of those paths to the destination does it prefer? And with weight, it makes its own decision. It doesn't rely on the information coming from any other devices, nor does it advertise this. Now, I should mention that it, for my demos, I'm using Conware devices. I'm using VSRs. I'm still waiting for my uh, Aruba OS devices to return from a show I was doing recently. And annoyingly enough, Conware uses a different term for weight. It uses this preferred value at the top there. But in every other operating system that I've come across with BGP, it's called weight and it does the same thing. So I'm just going to call it weight here. Here's my demo network. So I've got 
four VSR set up here. I've got two in AS65001 with IBGP between them, and then I've got two in AS65002. Uh, they do not run BGP between them, but they're both advertising this 109900 slash 24, and that's the target prefix. So for weight, what I've got here is two eBGP sessions from 101 to 201 and 202. These are both advertised in the 10 network, and with weight, I can prefer one link over another. So it's the local decision. Let's take a look at that on the CLI. Okay, here's VSR101. I've just SSH'd onto that. I'll show you the BGP configuration, so it's pretty easy stuff there. Here's the BGP routing table, and we can see that 109900, and I'm preferring that via the next stop of 2, so that's VSR201 that's preferred. Now, if I wanted to steer the traffic to the 10 network across dot 3, wait is an option. So on Comware, it can be configured in a couple of ways. What I can do is I can assign a higher weight so I should say that the higher weight is preferred I can configure a higher weight for all of the prefixes coming from a certain neighbor or I can use a root map to pick out a subset of prefixes and point the root map at the neighbor to just increase the weight of a subset of prefixes that are coming from that neighbor so we'll show i'll show you the simple way of doing it which is upping the weight on a per neighbor basis So that's the peer command, remember, with Conware, it's called preferred value, but I'm ignoring that and calling it wait. If we enter that command, now look at the table again. You can see that previously we had the next top, 172.16.2.1 was preferred. And now we have the higher weights going via 172.16.3.1. Weight has influenced the local decision and the best path to the 10.99 network. I've now removed that to put it back to the default. We'll check the table again. And it's gone back via 172.16.1.2.1, uh, sorry. So we've reverted back to our default. Okay, now let's look back at that root selection list. Number one was weight. Number two is the highest local preference. So let's move on to local preference. Now this is an actual path of tribute. So this is included in BGP updates against prefixes. It's well known, so all BGP speakers must know of it, but it's discretionary, so it doesn't need to be included. It's only included in certain updates. And the point is that it's significant within an AS, so it's not about eBGP sessions between AS, it's significant for iBGP sessions within an AS. And if we think like a router, what I tend to think of with local preference is that it is telling the IBGP neighbours within an AS like that this is the best exit. So I know the best exit out of this AS with the highest local preference. Referring back to the demo network, what I'm going to do is I am going to up the local preference sent to 
from VSR 102 for the 10 network across to VSR 101. So that 101 and 102 will take this link to 172.16.4 across VSR 202 to get to that 1099 network. So I'm essentially manipulating the exit path out of AS65001. OK, here's VSR101. And I've also logged into VSR102 to add the local preference configuration. Checking the routing table for VGP, we can see that the default, as before, so we're going across this 172.16.2.1 across VSR 201 to get to the destination and as mentioned what I want to do is not to take this link but to take this link here's VSR 102 BGP configuration here's the routing table at the moment we are preferring the 4 link, so the 172.16.4 locally, but I want to influence VSL101 as well so that all of the traffic goes across that link. So I go into the Unicast IPv4 address family. And rather than a per peer or a route map, what you have, it's a little bit different this for local preference because you just set, it's similar on um, iOS as well and Aruba OS and Comware that you can just set this default local preference for all of the prefixes that the local BGP speaker is advertising across any IBGP link. So you just put in this default local preference, set a value which is higher than d the default. So the default is 100. You need to set one that's higher than that. So I'll put just 101, 101 for my local preference. This is what it looks like in the configuration. Now the interesting part, we look back at VSR 101 and you can see, so this is it before and now you can see that it is choosing the IBGP session with the next top of 172.16.4.1 Obviously, VSR 102 is not changing the next hop. That's uh, correct behavior there. But you can see there the local preference 101. So that is now being preferred. Now, just to show you how this works with the route selection. So if you recall, weight was higher than local preference. I can actually override that locally on VSR 101 by adding a weight statement pointing to, let's say, let's point it towards the VSR 201. So across this link, preferred value weight, of course. I'll just give that a 100. Check the table again and we're back to running across the local eBGP session to 2. To recap then, first of all we manipulated on a per peer basis. We upped the weight, which is number 1. Then I showed you how you can use local preference and then I overrided that with by by configuring weight again. 
That's a simple example, but with all of the 13 points here and the different path attributes, I'm sure you can appreciate that things can get pretty complicated in larger scale and more complex networks, especially if you've got multiple BGP speakers injecting different attributes and lots of different paths. Which to me and my fellow nerds is all part of the fun or and appeal of BGP. Okay, that's all for now. So in the next video, I'm going to be taking a look at another path of tribute, MED. But for now, please like, comment, uh, subscribe. My name's Joe Neville. Thanks for watching and goodbye.